Hey guys, it's me, Sean, and I am here with an interesting new game called Skirmish Line that will be coming out on Steam here in a couple of days. Uh, the developers sent me a copy of this and asked if I wanted to take a look, and I thought, you know what? This game is interesting, and it's uh, different than what we usually have here, but it's still, it'll kind of fit in. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to play something. We've had all these business management, boring, I mean, they're all really fun, you know, but I mean, like... All these games are such a uh, businessy kind of grind lately. I thought it might be fun to do something a little different. Skirmish Line, sort of a RTS tower defense kind of a game. It'll make sense as we get into playing it. So I've already played through the tutorial. That's all there really was. I'd love to be able to play the campaign mode, but unfortunately, uh, the feature is still in early development and maybe unstable. And they kind of recommend that you don't play the campaign mode. So I don't want to like improperly feature this game so we're not going to jump into campaign mode this is going to be an early access so they'll get that going over time so instead we'll go ahead and just start with classic mode now hey look at that i start with a balance of 44 things because i've played through a few i've played through a few uh well i played one battle i guess i got 44 points so is there anything i can spend 44 points on no oh 50 i could unlock the trench gun yeah. And that's it, huh? All right. You know what? Nope. I'm not going to unlock any of those. Uh, I guess we're just going to deploy with no uh, with no points. Now, um, this game, you can't move the camera, any of that stuff. Your mission is to defend your position against the Japanese who are going to be storming at us. That's a bomb that's going to explode. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. There's no, no pausing or anything, so you kind of have to... Uh, I have to keep moving, um, and we're going to have Japanese uh, coming in at us here pretty quick. Um, and our, we I guess want to try to move towards the right side of the screen. There you go. We can advance to a new sector by moving towards the right of the screen, and uh, the Japanese are going to be coming towards us from over here on the right side of the screen. So we we definitely need to try to shoot all of them. Um, before all of us get shot. Uh, and occasionally goodies will drop down, but we're not going to be able to get over and get that goodie, so that's uh, uh, that's unfortunate. And it's like a wave game, so pretty much they're going to keep going, coming in waves. You don't control who shoots at who or anything like that. Um, so that's why it's kind of like a tower defense game. Um, but you can do... Oh, Oh, the enemies recovered the supply crate. But what I can do is I can upgrade this guy to, like, this uh, automatic rifle, which is pretty great, or a Tommy gun. I, I like this automatic rifle, though. Yeah. It's expensive, but it's it's a pretty good weapon. I like to have it on the guy up front. Although, eventually, he'll probably get killed. Hopefully, we can... Uh, it would be nice if they would focus their fire on the guy that's, like, getting closest or something, you know? Now, I don't know why he's shooting at the guy who's dead. That didn't really seem to be the the smartest decision, if you ask me. It would be nice if he would shoot over at that guy. That would be that would be the smart decision. But we don't want to get too close to this, this bomb here because that, that unexploded ordinance, because it is going to blow up at some point, and that's that's very bad. I don't really want to have this guy too far out front either because he could get overrun pretty quickly by these guys. Oh, and like dynamite just flies in for some reason. <laughs> kind of out of nowhere. <laughs> Which is funny. All right, I'm going to give this guy the Tommy gun. Oh, there's some goodies that we might be able to get to, but that's like right on top of that dynamite, right? I don't think I really want to uh, run in and get that. Now, why are you shooting over here? Why aren't you shooting at this guy who's standing right next to you? There we go. That was better. Gonna get everybody some uh, brass knuckles here. You can get them grenades too, but these guys are pretty incompetent with their grenades from what I've seen. You can also um, give them uh, promotions and stuff as well over time. Is this one of my guys? No, that's a Japanese. Why is he... Oh, no, my guy died. Shit, what are you doing? How did he die? 
Oh. Who, sh who shot him? Well, I don't like that very much. This guy's getting closer and closer to the edge. Can I, I can, I think I can promote this guy. There we go. Uh-oh. Now, yeah, see, now we're going to, okay, that's good. But somebody needs to kill uh, Sneaky McGee over here. Because all he has to do is reach one side of the uh, battlefield. And uh, we lose the mission. Or uh, we only have to have one guy reach the side of the battlefield and we lose the mission. But we're doing all right. Sort of, I think. I don't like that we lost that, that fellow down there, though. I think it costs us like five points to replace a, a, a unit. And the better units cost more. I'm not even sure if we can recruit more units. No, I don't see any listed on here. Shoot. No, 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 don't go there. What are you doing? Ah, they, they picked up that supply crate. Well, hopefully that dynamite will blow up on them while they're standing on top of it. Did it already blow up? What? Oh, jeez Louise, how are we going to fight these guys off? Is there any, uh, any special stuff I'm missing? No radio operator, so I can't do anything with that. Alright, well this guy's going to be toast, I feel. Oh, why is he? He's running away? That's weird. Um, oh, see that bomb went off. And it... Well, these guys have all taken some damage. But these guys need to get out of the way of this. Uh, why do you why do you drop the uh, thing on top of the dynamite? Ah, they got the supply crate too. Oh, this guy on a bicycle? Are you kidding me? How are we gonna stop him? Uh, what can I do here? Uh oh. No 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 don't don't move over there. Shit. Oh, wait, so we haven't lost yet? Okay, I thought I thought once one guy got over there we lost. I guess we need to prevent twelve people from getting over there. Like that's a little easier to do, I suppose. Oh ah shit, that guy's dead now too. What's that? Taunt the enemy? No thanks. Um, artillery, but we don't have a signaler. Ah, there's where we can request more soldiers. A rifleman or a marine raider? Let's get a marine raider. Come on, sea dog. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Kind of need to spread these guys out. Uh oh. So they're going to shoot artillery at us. Need to get these. Ah, uh, there, there comes that. Uh, damn. Did we lose both of those guys? Ah. Oh. Now another. Uh, Another uh, relay of our uh, position. Shit. He just got shot. Oh. I think he moved out of that artillery range. Uh-oh. Oh, that's everybody. Uh, all right. Well, there you go, then. I can't even... Uh, oh, okay. Can I surrender? I don't even think I can surrender at, at this point. I think we just have to uh, just have to wait for the uh, wait for the enemy to overrun us. 
I guess I'm not very good at this game. Would be my uh, my analysis so far. Um, but it's uh, it's kind of interesting trying to trying to figure out how to hold these guys back. Like our goal is to move over this way, right? But um, yeah, we did not get anywhere. Now, see, why did we lose at this point? That's I don't understand that. Uh, anyways, uh, we earned some experience, some acquisition points, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and try another another round here. Um, so now we have 119 points, which is real nice. We could almost get... No, we can't. Never mind. Almost get this. Start with negative command points, but deploy a squad of raiders. That's not going to help. Begin our deployment with an officer. That's not really that impressive. We can... Pretty easy to, oh, we can't even do that anyways. Allow for the deployment of the legendary soldier known as Sarge. Requires captain rank or higher. Looks like it's unlocked though. Oh, maybe this is um, among, like once I'm already out there, I can deploy. So it's like call for reinforcements or something. Um, I don't know that I want that. All right, let's go ahead and requisition this one, see what happens. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right, same. I do like that the maps are kind of randomized. A little tricky to click on some of these guys. Let's see if we can take some better positions this time around. It, be nice if I could see what kind of cover these guys have. Like it seems like they're in cover, but it's really hard to tell. These guys all have like they uh they have a lot of good cover to choose from as they try to advance. Can I give this guy a better weapon? I don't know about the Tommy gun. I like the carbine. Does it it doesn't really give any details on what benefits it does, but we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a carbine. This guy too. It seems like that would be the long range rifle, right? I don't mind dealing with the monsoon. I don't know what C stands for. So I suppose I should try to use my command points like uh, to uh, promote people and then maybe bring in reinforcements. Maybe that's why I keep uh, getting my butt kicked because I only have four soldiers the entire time. I feel like this guy maybe is too close to that uh, unexploded ordinance as well. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Maybe I need to move this guy forward. No, I, I always think it's uh, right click to move and it's left click. Left click to select and left click to move. That's there. Now. Now I... It's very frustrating when I do that. All right, so... Three points I could get a GI. Five points I could get Sarge. No, 12 points for Sarge. Holy mackerel. All right, let's go for this Marine Raider. You, you come back here. There's our Marine Raider. Have you go all the way up front. Oh, get away from that dynamite. Feel like we're doing okay. Let's see if we can grab these uh, goodies. Winter clothing. Well, that doesn't seem like that's going to help any, does it? This guy's gotten up here to his cover. That's nice.
terrible aim with your grenade there, pal. You're not... I thought you were supposed to be some hotshot marine. Still got this guy hidden in the bushes, right? Nice. Very nice. Um, no. Damn it. Who? No, no, no. Don't go there, you. Stay hidden in the bushes. Ah! Shit! Oh, somehow he's still alive? What? Uh-oh, here comes some jerk on a bicycle again. Alright, let's, uh, can we call in another unit? Um, call in a standard rifleman. Sure, why not? Don't walk in on top of that bomb. Oh, the, uh, Dynamite exploded without me even noticing. Uh-oh, that guy's going to get over Johnny Bicycle Man. Oh, dynamite. That's fine. Hey, nice job with the grenade. All right, well, we're holding out a little longer this time. We managed to kill that guy. We're not going to be able to grab that. Uh, my officer passed on valuable combat experience. Okay. That's good. Sounds like there's some fist fighting going on, but I can't see who that would be. Is it down here? Oh, wow. Direct hit. Uh, all right. What are you doing, Miles? I want you to stay down here. Um, can I can I call in those? Uh, oh, oh boy, a bunch of. Uh, I could get a sniper. Wow, yeah, let's hold out for a sniper maybe. A signaler would allow me to call in support strikes. Engineer would allow me to dig holes and construct structures. Uh oh. Hmm, you know what? Let's go ahead and call in an officer. Like, we have a field officer. But maybe not so bad to have a real officer, although he doesn't have a very good weapon. All right, well, that's good. That means I can actually move somebody down here because I was keeping him away from that uh, unexploded ordnance. Gonna move this guy over here behind the rocks. Well, we're definitely holding them off a lot better this round. And we haven't suffered too many losses. So I'm happy about that for sure. Can we get our officer a decent weapon? Or is he stuck with a pistol? Ugh. Stupid. Pretty worthless officer. Um. How do I unselect? There you go. All right. Uh, so I have an officer now. I can do a few things with him. Structures. Uh, no, I would need an engineer to build a structure. So let's go ahead and request that. And then we can start building, I guess, uh, trenches or something like that. I'll put you up top here. I think we're safe from that. Um, wow, the engineer has a pretty great, uh, pretty great weapon. Ah, shit! Well, I feel like that guy was pretty good too. Maybe he just had a good weapon. This engineer has got a pretty good weapon. I mean, I I like that. Seems like a pretty good long-range machine gun. Hmm. Oh, here comes even more bad guys. Ah, sniper is going to snipe that guy down there. 
Uh, what can we do for structures? Build a foxhole, a trench, camouflage net, heavy machine gun emplacement, that costs nine, and a decoy. All right, how about a trench? Oh, and he, what, he's just gonna build it right there, why not? All right, why don't you run over to the trench? Did we lose, uh, didn't we have an officer around here? Ah, shit! That guy died. Uh-oh, this guy's gonna die too. Which one is our officer? Obviously he's not one of the dead guys. So we do still have a guy down here. I shouldn't be clustering these guys together like that, though, because because uh, uh, somebody's going to throw a grenade. Uh-oh. Or, ah, oh, man, that was my officer. my Like my real, real officer. Well, I've almost got enough points. I'm going to call in another... Uh, Another uh, Marine, if I can. Um, s uh, sent details of my defenses to their support units. Well, uh, I don't want to leave my trench. I hear a plane coming, though. Ah, shit, that guy died. He was trying to get that box. Why didn't he get the box? What's in the box? Oh, Sniper, you're killing me, sniper. Up oh, here comes, here comes the. All right, well, it's a good thing we got out of that trench. Ah, that guy's dead now. Um, hmm. Oh no, another guy got killed. Jeez, like instantly. All right, let's call in another Marine. Who do we got left? Uh, this guy just arrived and he's already got a sniper's target on his head. Oh, don't, you just grenaded your friend. What a jerk. Just cause you're a Marine and you don't like army guys. That's no reason to throw a grenade on them. Ouch. This is not good. Although we've done much better this round. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind the dynamite going over there. This game is dynamite! It's not, but it's it's fun. Oh, there's some more goodies down there. Alright, well they're they're sending in bombers anyway, so we gotta we gotta get out of here. Or else we're gonna get bombed. Down here, open that up. No, 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 open the thing up, dummy. Ah, that guy died. Uh, what do we got left here? Um, oh, they got even more troops coming in. Can we bring in, I guess we can bring in just a regular everyday soldier. Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not gonna last very long here, but we're gonna, we're gonna hold out our best while we still can. See if we can take down this sneaky jerk. But we're going to have a lot of points for the next round if we start up the next round. But yeah, that guy's going to pull through. Oh, good. Nice job. Comes some guy on a bicycle. He's going to be hard to fight. Oh, two snipers now. Wow. Ah, oh, shit. I'm down to one guy. Yeah, we are getting slaughtered up here. Specifically, all of my troops. Uh, but it's good timing, because it's about time to wrap this episode up anyways. That's one um, 
I don't know, problem, but one thing about this game is there's no, uh, you can't, like, save. <laughs> you can't stop in the middle and save. You gotta, do I still have? I, I don't think I still have. I think everybody's dead now. All right, guys. Well, this was, um, you know, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty challenging game. I could see how once you learn how to use all your different, uh, all your different, um, uh, you know what I mean? Different skills and stuff. And it seemed like we opened up new things as time went on. So it seems like there's a lot more to figure out in this game um, that, uh, you know, I just don't don't understand. Um, but uh, let me know what you think. Do you want to see some more of this game? Um, leave me a comment. Uh, click the like button. Um, mostly it's going to depend if anybody really watches this or not, I'll be honest. But, you know, if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And, uh, yeah, this game comes out on the 19th, I believe. Um, and I don't know how much it's going to cost or anything like that. It's going to be an early access, so maybe check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye.